morning. I'm off to work. This is the fit for today. A little extra tired today, but we're gonna push through. Today starts day one of, I teach 16 classes this week. That's a lot. <sighs> off to work we go. I just got back home from work. It's 1.30 right now. <laughs> Hi. I know a lot of you have been wondering about the updates for the jobs that I've been talking about. So I did the audition for one of the gyms that I was very interested in. At the time, I feel like it just kind of felt right and I was really excited about it. I really liked the classes. I really liked the studio. I don't know, something about the location that I would have to be at the times of the classes, like plus the commute and just the whole situation just didn't entirely feel like it was right and like the timing was right. I am a big believer that nothing that is meant for you will pass you by, if that is the right saying, if I'm like thinking the right way right now. So essentially, if it's meant to be in your life, it will be in your life. You can't mess it up. It's gonna happen no matter what. And something about this job just didn't totally feel right. And I was talking to my friends about it, talking to my family about it. And I think I just came to a conclusion that I just don't think that at this time in my life, it is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I just spoke to the manager there and kindly declined the job because they did offer it to me but it just didn't fully make sense for me uh, for where I'm at right now and what I am trying to work towards. I did leave the door open. There is some opportunity down the line should classes become available at like a closer location to me. So I didn't want to like fully, you know, close the door on that because I am still interested. It's just not the time like for me to try to be working there right now. So I do have another job um, that is in the works. I have a meeting today to go over programming for that and then I have my audition this Friday. So this week is kind of like a busy week with work stuff at Nike. I am working every single day Monday through Friday this week and then I have meetings today, tomorrow, and Friday. It's just a lot. It's a crazy busy week for me and I literally am already looking forward to the weekend and having a day off that doesn't involve work. Yeah, I just wanted to share kind of where I was at because I know a lot of you have been wondering and I see some comments asking about the job, what's been happening, and I wanted to share updates now that I finally have some, but I still have another opportunity with another company that I think I'm really, really excited for. I met with them I think a few weeks ago and the owners were just very nice very down to earth you could just tell that they were like very genuine people so i'm really excited for this opportunity i have to hop on a meeting in literally 20 minutes to go over the programming but i'm excited for just everything that this company and this studio is about and i feel like it's going to be a really exciting place to work so hopefully all goes well with that um and then update on my thumb slowly but surely getting better it's a work in progress i don't think it's going to be healed for at least another few weeks i'm slowly getting my strength back and being able to like grip things a little bit easier was kind of testing the limits today with my workout <laughs> earlier at the gym i didn't film it for you guys because i think there's already another workout in this vlog but i'm going to try to include at least like one workout in almost every single vlog for you guys so you guys can get plenty of fitness content i think i'm just going to let myself chill and relax a little bit before this meeting because I have just quite literally been on since basically like 4.30 this morning and I feel like I have not had a single moment to myself to just sit and breathe and relax. So I'm gonna enjoy the next 20 minutes that I have to myself before this next meeting starts. a single thing <laughs> to write my notes in but I still have these notebooks on my Etsy they're just like the dot grid ones so I'll link those down below if you guys are curious but I'm gonna use this to take some notes for this meeting um, I have no idea how long this meeting is gonna be but I am excited to learn a bit a little bit more and just kind of like fully feel prepared for this audition on Friday 
Hello? Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, it's been a long one. I have been working since 4.30 this morning. Very long day. Lots of notes um, from that meeting, but I definitely think I have like a better understanding of everything. I've never taken a class before at this studio, so that's where it's hard for me to picture what exactly I am teaching, how the flow of the room goes, how the flow of the programming and the workout itself will be. Um, so I'm gonna watch, I think, cause they sent over like a live class for us. I really wish I would have been able to go take a class so I could really get a feel for it, but I just didn't have enough time. I don't have enough time to be able to do that. Like oh, the classes are only in LA and it's just so far for me to try to like make that work with how my schedule is for <laughs> this week at Nike. So that part is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm gonna watch the live class and just see if I can get a feel for how that's gonna be. Um, obviously when you audition for a gym, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like they're not looking for perfection. They're looking for you to bring your personality and some sort of understanding of what their classes actually are. That is like my biggest tip. If you are ever wanting to become a group fitness instructor, obviously take the classes if you can, that's going to help you a ton. Um, but if you can't take the classes, usually they will send you like a breakdown of like this is what we want in your intro this is what we want you to take us through for like programming and sorts and just kind of use that as your full guideline of how you're going to run everything from start to finish and just kind of like study that i always will like practice in my apartment especially with like timing and stuff if it's something that they don't have timing on the screens like they won't have timing on the screen for this um, so I have to be the one keeping track of the timing in the room. So I have to know, you know, where I'm at when it comes to the different movements and when to be cueing them for the next exercise or if they're switching on something. Um, I just have to be really mindful of that. So that's what I'm going to work on for today. I'm so, I'm so tired. I definitely need a nap or something. That's how I'm feeling. Tomorrow is also another long day just because I teach in the morning and then I have a break. He's been like listening to me talk this whole time on the phone and he's like wanted to play. Like anytime I sit down for a meeting or sit down to film, he will be sound asleep. But the minute he hears the camera turn on or another person like on my meeting, that's why I made sure to use headphones. Like if I don't use headphones and he can hear the person talking, he thinks that there's like someone in the room to play with him. And he's like, I want attention. Come here. What do you what do you want? Hi. Okay. I'm gonna try not to feel overwhelmed right now, but I think I just need to like not look at any work stuff for a few hours and then come back to this because I've just like I said been on all day and it's just made for a really long Monday. And I honestly thought that this meeting was tomorrow. Turns out it was today, I read the text wrong. Thank goodness I like went back to double check because I was like, I just feel like I maybe got the date wrong. So thank goodness, but come here. I don't know what you want. You want to say hi to the to the vlog fam? Is that all you wanted? Nope, now you're gonna be camera shy? All right, hi, I'm right here. I'm right here, hi. I'm so glad I went and got my workout in earlier though. That's what I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. If I'm gonna go, work out at 5 a.m. and have the rest of my day to myself or if I'm gonna go teach then go work out then go back to the meeting and then I'm gonna have to go to bed early because we got to do this all over again on Wednesday see what I'm saying it's like this week is just like non-stop slightly overwhelmed but um all will be okay I just know that it's things are gonna get even busier and crazier over the next few weeks, especially with this new job starting up, um, with like the training that I'm gonna have to go through before the studio actually opens. So, 
I definitely took on a little bit too much this week with Nike classes. Like, I won't lie. I'm, I'm feeling it already, and it's only Monday, and I have <laughs> all of my normal classes to still teach this week. Um, now, after this, I really only have two extra classes, but... It's just, I don't know, sometimes it makes for a long week. I think it's like the 12 p.m. classes that really just make me feel like I have no time in my day because of the way that it's broken up. Like I'll teach in the morning and then I'm off work by like 8 a.m. But then I also have to be back at the studio by like 11.30ish. And then I'm at the studio till like 1ish depending on how long cleanup takes. So it's not like I'm just there for like my 12 p.m. class. Like you have to show up, you have prep work to do before the class starts. Um, and then you have obviously the cleanup and the reset for after the class before, you know, the later classes come in in the afternoon. So it's just a lot of moving pieces all in one time spot. Um, like the noon class is not just like an hour out of my day. It's like almost two hours essentially after I've already been teaching all morning. So I am... I have no idea how my schedule is going to change obviously when like this new job starts i don't know what entirely is going to be available yet i don't know i'm just i want to make like my ideal schedule between the jobs that i have so that way i can still give myself time and also give time to the things that i love doing which is youtube and fitness and social media i just want to make sure that i'm not burning myself out on too many classes in a week um, too many studios and not allowing myself enough time to work on the things that I'm truly passionate about and the things that I truly love. Oh, hi. Oh, do you need water? Are you thirsty? I just filled it up. Okay. That's all I have for our little chit chat. Um, I'll probably pick up a vlog camera later. Okay. I am showered. I feel like I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. I really want to edit a new vlog for you guys, but I just truly don't think that I have it in me to do that right now. So I think I'm kind of try to break up my day tomorrow whoa big yawn in a productive way so i just need to decide where i'm going to fit the gym into my schedule versus where i'm going to fit editing into my schedule and i think that would be a decision that i make maybe closer to bedtime or in the morning because i'm either going to go to the gym first thing in the morning at like 5 or 6 a.m and then go straight to um work after that and then come home and then have like that whole gap before i have to go back to the studio for that meeting to edit and work on things or i'm gonna switch it wake up early edit then go to work then come home and go to the gym during that gap so tomorrow is open for opportunities but i don't want to think about too many right now <laughs> the meeting went really really well though like i feel a lot more prepared and ready and i'm excited so I literally think I already picked up the vlog camera to tell you guys this. Wow, that is how tired I am today. We're at that level. Um, but on another note, my uh, videos about my ultra human ring are like doing well on TikTok right now. So I'm just going to continue with that and post more about that and answer all the questions that everyone seems to have. Uh, so I'm going to sit, I think, and film a few more of those, respond to a few more questions. And then I really think I need to give myself some time. Otherwise, I might just lose my sanity before the end of the day. We got some stuff to unbox. I woke up nice and early this morning, went to the gym at 5 a.m. because I knew today was gonna be a long day. I think I wanna start going more consistently at 6 a.m. on Tuesdays before I work. I gave myself like just enough time to get a solid workout in, come back home, really quickly changing it, ready for work, and then head to work. The workout that I did today was straight from my app, so if you haven't signed up yet, I will have the link for it down below. Let's open these up. This first one, I have no idea who this is from. Okay, YSL, they sent over, oh, <laughs> hello. They sent over, ooh, their black opium perfume. I love this, okay. Look at how pretty this is. Love me some YSL perfume, especially this one, smells so good. Thank you so much to I saw for that. Okay, next one we have is from Merit. They sent over um, some eyebrow stuff, I believe. This 
So we have their brow gel and their brow liner. I'm excited to try these out. This is what they look like. Thank you so much to Marriott for that. Okay, back to editing I go. I have a meeting um, back at work at three today. So I'm trying to get what I need to get done now so I can potentially take a quick nap. I woke up this morning, felt really good and like recovered. And then I got home from work and definitely felt like a dip in my energy levels. I just kind of realized how tired I was. And then I got a little notification on my um, Ultra Human app that my temperature was a little bit higher than normal today, which I don't know if that's because like I'm ovulating and that's why it's a little bit higher or if I'm just not feeling my best. So I'm definitely gonna listen to that. I'm tired, so I'm gonna try to take a nap once I finish editing this new vlog that I want to go live tomorrow morning. This is my new current hyperfixation for either a snack, depending on how hungry I am, or my whole lunch meal, which for today, I'm gonna turn it into my lunch meal because I'm so exhausted. It's 12.38, my meeting is at three. I wanna try to nap for at least like an hour if I can. I'm that tired, like I, I can just feel it in my body. So I have a few pieces left over still, but I'll chop up a bell pepper into little slices like this. So I'm gonna chop that up. We have, oh, wow. <laughs> we have an apple. Uh, these are the Honeycrisp apples. I get these at Trader Joe's. Literally all of this is from Trader Joe's. Unexpected cheddar cheese. I cut up some of this to also have with um, the salami and the bell pepper. And then I'll do a little bit of peanut butter as well if I feel like I'm still not like super full, but we just turn that into a little snack plate. And lately I've literally just been eating off of my cutting boards because I can't be bothered to take out the cutting board and then also put everything onto a plate. So me eating my meals lately has just been me standing in this corner <laughs> eating off of the cutting board of whatever I've made for the day. Here we have it. It's so exciting, I know. <laughs> I had a client come up to me the other day in one of my classes and he was talking about how much his wife loves my videos. So if you're watching, hello, thank you. I appreciate your support. Um, but he was also talking about how she was like obsessed with Apple and she's combo too. And sometimes I totally forget that, you know, the people at my job can also watch my vlogs. I don't know, I sometimes like, it doesn't process in my mind obviously like i put my vlogs out there for anyone and everyone to watch and i am so beyond grateful for all the constant support from everyone that does watch my videos because i wouldn't be able to do any of the things that i do without you guys so seriously thank you for that uh, but it's just so funny and it's it like really makes me realize who watches my videos when I have clients come up to me, because that's definitely not the first time that I've had that happen, but I just thought that that was really cool. So if you're watching, again, thank you. I appreciate you. All right, so lunch, we have some bell peppers. I should probably eat these yellow ones left over before those go bad, but I'll literally just add in some cheese on the bell pepper, add some salami on it, and there we have my little snack or lunch. This is essentially just replacing the crackers that I used to eat this with and it's helping me get a lot more of my vegetables in this way. So this is why I've been doing that. I took a little nap because I just could not physically keep my eyes open. I do feel a little bit refreshed, a little bit better. A little fit check for the meeting. I made this cookie dough bark like I think this past weekend. It's so good. I only have a few pieces left so we're going to make some more after I get back from this meeting. I think the meeting is gonna be like really quick, hopefully like a 15, 20 minute meeting. We'll see, but anyways, can't wait to come back home and honestly just chill for the rest of the evening. I'm so glad that I got all of my work done. I got a workout in and this is my last little bit of work for the day. And then I can just like shut my brain off and not worry about anything until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 